The unique aspects of our pituitary program here at Emory are the following. Uh, first of all, we have an incredible amount of experience built in. Uh, I personally have done close to 1800 cases, so a lot of skill and experience. You don't find that all over the place, particularly because pituitary tumors, some of them at least, are rare. Uh, things like Cushing's disease and acromegaly are rare. And so we have a huge referral network. The other part of it that's pretty unique is that it's multidisciplinary. In other words, we have specialists of all kinds, endocrinology, neurosurgery, radiation oncology, neuroradiology, and all bringing their best talents and skills and experience into the care of the patient. Pituitary diseases can be rare, like Cushing's or acromegaly, but they have significant um, health consequences if untreated. Pituitary diseases can also be common, like incidentalomas, but these patients also require a thorough clinical, hormonal evaluation, as well as counseling and surveillance. Outcome research is of, par is of paramount importance for advancing patient care and for identification of novel predictor markers. Uh, we have a, an electronic database of over 1,500 records of patients who underwent surgery um, here at Emory or other types of treatments for their pituitary tumors over the past two decades. The other part of it that we're very uh, proud of is that we've been pioneers in the use of uh, 3D endoscopy, three-dimensional endoscopy. As opposed to just having a single tunnel field of vision that is straight on, the endoscope, we're able to move along with our instruments and see directly in front of where we're operating and around things. So with angled endoscopes, we're able to see around corners. So for example, if there was a tumor wrapping around an artery and there was a pocket of tumor that we couldn't see straight on, we could switch to an angled endoscope and then see in that pocket surrounding the artery and with curved instruments, get out that part of the tumor as well. Uh, imaging has been tremendous. Uh, we're developing now additional tools in uh, MRI diagnostics which allow us to see the tumor where it's in the, the cavernous sinus and look at it in three-dimensional space. Our uh, focus here at Emory has been on developing and optimizing new pulse sequences that will improve the resolution as well as the uh, conspicuity of lesions in the pituitary gland and their relationship to all the critical structures that surround the gland. So one of the techniques that we've been working on is uh, called a post-contrast Fiesta sequence. And this is done at uh, ultra high resolution, so 400 micron resolution, about the width of four human hairs put together. And uh, with this type of sequence, we can see very exquisitely small lesions that are inside the pituitary gland, uh, the actual optic nerve, um, optic chiasm and tracts that are above the gland, uh, as well as the cavernous sinus structures, including all of the cranial nerves. For almost uh, 25 years now, we've been collecting tumors from patients at surgery, and we've amassed probably what's the largest pituitary tumor bank in the world suitable for molecular studies. Currently there are, there are very few molecular techniques that are being employed clinically for pituitary tumors um, and that's part of our research goal. So um, working with Nelson we've developed uh, a series of protocols where we can do genomics based applications including whole exome sequencing, whole genome sequencing and RNA-seq to be able to understand better the mechanisms that drive these tumors and potentially find new ways to treat. There are a lot of facets to the um, process of um, having pituitary surgery and just being a pituitary patient. It is a tertiary, tertiary center and is, is very well renowned. Um, and actually one of my professors when I was in PA school after they had found the diagnosis or I had told them of the diagnosis um, really pushed for me to come here. He said you have to go, you have to, go to Emory. This, this is the place to go um, for pituitary surgery. I'm seven and a half months out after my surgery and I'm feeling amazing. I mean my, I've lost 20 pounds, my A1C is 6.4, my blood pressure, the only reason I'm even taking blood pressure medication is because of my diabetes. At losing the weight has actually even improved my cholesterol. I've lost a buffalo hump in my neck, so I'm doing amazing, amazing. 
So Dr. Uh, Dr. Oesuke, he was, he was great. I mean, uh, he explained everything. He explained the procedure to me, what, what he was going to do, how he was going to do it. Um, so by the time I, go, I, I was ready to go into the surgery, I, I knew what to expect. I was scared. It was a terrifying experience, you know. Um, your life is in their hands, you know, but he's a wonderful, wonderful man. I researched Dr. Oisiku, which was obviously um, his reputation spoke for itself. So that's one of the reasons I chose Emory. I mean, he's got an incredible staff here and everybody just bends over backward to help you. So it, it's been an amazing experience, an amazing journey for, from my perspective for the surgery. Why should patients come here or choose Emory in preference to other institutions? Quite simply, it boils down to three things. Our exceptional results and outcomes. Secondly, a resolute commitment to patient safety, quality, and patient satisfaction. Thirdly, a mission to advancing the science of our practice and to teach the next generation. Taken together, these are compelling, if not decisive, reasons.